Do you not? I haven't got the keys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got keys now. <laughs> So welcome back to the channel. We are now in the van and we are ready for a productive day with no fighting. No. Um, <laughs> we, you may have caught at the end of last week's video, I basically declared that this is officially, after this week, going to be the end of our van build. We're kind of, from a YouTube perspective, we've been like doing a playlist. It's got every single video of our van build in there from the beginning to this will be the last one. Yeah. Um, so we're declaring those like two major jobs we've got left to do, and then that's it. We're we're finished. And it'll, there, bits and bobs will get done. You know, you never finish finished, are you? But we'll do them as we go. But we're going to move on to actually using the van now and and just doing vlogs on what we do with the van, not how we change the van. Yeah. That's the plan. Maybe maintenance and stuff. Yeah, way. just the odd bit here and there, but it's no longer a van build. Or it's just things the... fall off as we're driving, yeah. and that cupboard's open. Just, yeah. yeah, that kind of stuff. So this week we are going to do the Chills peep hole. We're going to make that bigger. Yay! We'll <laughs> yeah. bit more peepage. More peepage, a <laughs> little bit of weight, um, but we're going to make it make that bigger. So that's that done. We're going to do the shower curtain. We've got a plan for putting that in. That's going to get done. Yeah, because before it was just on a bit of um, paracord. Yeah. So we're going to make an official, official, yeah. what do you call it, rail for it. Official rail. Um, we're getting a new Max Air fan. So the past few <laughs> weeks we've been talking about the Max Air fan. We've tried different things. I've filmed loads of stuff. I don't think I've actually included it in many vlogs. Oh, yeah. Because we were going to do like a, but yeah, but I've recorded taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it yeah. on. I can't remember. It might be in there, it might be not. But, but basically, the company we bought it from and Max Air Fan Company, whatever they're called, uh, have been brilliant. And they're sending us a whole new Max Air Fan. It's just faulty, but, isn't it? It's just not. Yeah, I don't know what's gone wrong with it. Shell freaked out because you thought we were going to have to take out <laughs> everything out and make a whole new hole I in did. the I did. I thought we were doing a new hole at the top and everything. But which, it's, all we've got to do no. is take the four screws out that hold the unit bit in, take that out, put the new one in, and hopefully that will work and do the job. That's the plan anyway. Um, we've replaced this LED light. So the one we had on there was cheap. It was a quid from... You picked the wrong light, didn't you? No. Oh, okay. It was a quid from Ikea. It was rubbish in naff. We bought this at the um, caravan, camping, motorhome, whatever it was show at the NEC a few weeks ago. Uh, now I put it in. Now it's quite blue. This is the white, apparently. But it's actually better in hindsight. No, it is the white, is it? it, it I think it is the white. You don't get the glare on your glasses, and because we both wear specs, it's um, it's actually better for us. So it comes with a fancy pants remote. Yeah, so we can have a disco. So that's that. We've done that. The other thing I've done that I didn't film was um, I put a switch in for the fridge. Because what we didn't realise was even when you turn the power on and off to the fridge here, when you open the door, the light would still come on. Therefore, it's obviously drawing a bit of drawing, power. Drawing a bit of power. So, uh, no expense spared and Steve's talent. I've put in here underneath the, um, what do you call it, the seat. There's a little switch there that just turns the fridge on. So now we've got power, can use it as normally. Then off, obviously it completely isolates the fridge and there's no power, so that's that done. Get you, Mr. Electrician. Well, yeah. So, there we go. Um, this morning's first job, other than doing the ping pong, we'll do that in a minute, but first off, we're gonna figure out how to put up the shower curtain. Because we've abandoned any idea of a door now, Run out of enthusiasm, energy, and money to do the what do you call it? The tambour door thing. Don't think we need it. And we've coped all right with it when we have been away with just a shower curtain. It's been fine. And actually, I think if we had a door, we'd probably leave it open most of the time because we've got the air vent down there. The curtain did a good enough job for like drying, yeah, um, towels and curtain um, coats and stuff when we have the heating on. I think it'd be great. I've got a little bit of copper tubing that I've left in the garage. Anyway, basically a small piece of 12 mil ply with one of these on. Obviously this is way too big. I need to trim it down. Screw that 
will connect that to the wall like that. Then the copper pipe will run all the way around here to this side, do another one, and then we'll just have the shower curtain on there. Okay. What do you think? We just need to work out and that it's that is farther enough back that the piece of curtain that comes here can go all the way back. Well, we could go as you want. We could go there, we could go yeah, there. Yeah, I know that, but that's what I'm just saying we need to work out. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you mean by work out. We'll just put it where we want it. Only everything was as easy to cut as that. So where did you get this pipe from, Steve? Got it from the garage. The garage? We bought this, we've had it in the garage for years. It's a better pipe when we had our kitchen redone and our bathroom redone. Oh, you said the other day that someone gave you it. No, I don't know where you got that from. Oh, okay. <laughs> we did buy it. Oh, from when we had our kitchen done 11 years ago. <laughs> yep, I knew it would be useful. That's why I don't throw things away. <laughs> All right, now we've got to bend it. I haven't got a pipe bender, so we're just going to have to wing it a little bit. Do we need that burny thing? No, nah, he's not going to heat that up enough for that. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's bend it round a... something. Okay. Go and get a tin of something. The pipe didn't work, did it? Pipe didn't work, so we've given up on that idea for now. We need a pipe bender. So we've still got our local Facebook groups if everyone's got one we can buy. If right, not, we'll buy one, bend it and return it. <laughs> how big are we making this hole then? How far back here do you want to go to? Was it worth just going to the wall? Are you able to do that? Hello? Um, well, it's cutting up there that will be the hard part. Okay, we'll go to as far as you can cut neatly then. You're going to have to take out. the bit of ceiling off, aren't we? What bit of ceiling? That, to be able to get across there. I've already taken it off. Sorry, what? I've already taken it off. Taken what off? A bit of ceiling that goes across there. No, I mean these. You're not going to be able to cut that, are you? With that in the way. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's why I took that bit of wood off. So I can cut across there and multi-tool it. But that isn't going to be straight. It doesn't matter. If I multi-tool it across there, put a bit of, bit of wood up there. Oh, okay. You won't see it. Okay. So while Steve is busy cutting the big hole, I'm just making a thermal blind to go on the cab side of that. We're going to Velcro it on the cab side. Um, so I've got some vapour barrier, which I'm making a pocket and I've stuck in a very thin layer of insulation in there. And then I'm going to cover that in black carpet. Um, and I'm going to sew it all together around the edge so it's got a nice seam and then we're going to velcro that in two places in the cab so either side of the hole and then I'm going to have another strip of velcro behind the driver's seat so that we can just move it across so hopefully this plan will work and I quite like the fact that we're just using up off cuts of bits um, that we've had hanging around for a bit nice spring hailstorm <laughs> Basically, it's better having a bigger hole in it. So if, if we're in an emergency and we need to drive off, you can jump through. Yeah, <laughs> loads of emergencies. <laughs> right. Oh. What's next?
Are you filming me? I'm filming you. Filming no, you're filming me. me. <laughs> look, look at us, we're proper YouTubers now. Ooh. Got two cameras. Means we can do fancy shots and things. Good luck with editing this one together. Yeah. Sure there's a way. Um, right, so what we're saying? <laughs> so we've done... <laughs> we're going to be fighting over footage what to put in. Yeah, so we've done um, the frame. We've tidied the carpet up on the other side. So now we need to make a wooden window frame and something across that bit because that is so wonky, it's unreal. It's 0.5, that's 46.3. We want it to be the same really, don't we? So if we go in the middle, 46. Yeah, because if it goes over the top, it'll be, it'll look fine. 46.4. So we don't want a bit of 46.5 long though, because it needs to be longer, doesn't it? Because of the angle. Yeah, yeah. So the middle bit will be, and then, so that 46 will be, so this is the sides. Well, I don't know, just two bits of wood. Um, so you measure 46 and then that's the 45 degree angle goes there, doesn't it? So I would measure... Yeah, but you want the angle at both ends, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it'll be the same on the side bits. So if I just cut the angle first, then measure 46.5 and then cut another, cut another angle. Cut another angle, yeah. Okay. the internal lump nice It looks great. Mm-hmm. Don't know if this will work. Perfect. So we'll leave that to dry. Well, what a productive day. It's been a blooming day of all seasons. Yeah. We've had sun, wind, rain, hail. I think we got a bit of snow at one point. No, it's just big lumps of ice. <laughs> but it's definitely very cold now and I'm done. Done. Done, done. We have been... Busy, busy, busy. Busy. Let's show you what we've what we've done. Got it. a nice prick on the wall. New oh, one. yeah, you've got a new prick on the wall, haven't you? Yep. Good. Cosmetic job. Yep. Got um, a <sighs> map of the UK on there now, ready to tick off some count more counties. Yep. The, the rule is, in case you haven't heard before, you have to spend at least one night in the van in that county to scratch it off. You can't just drive through it, you've got to sleep there. You've got to sleep there. Yeah. It doesn't include a daytime nap. No. Um, Cheryl's peep hole is now bigger. She's got a bigger hole. She'll be really happy about that. Um, we've paint. well, she's painted it. We've made the frame. So tomorrow, when everything's nice and dry, we'll put the frame on and finish that off. We're going to finish this bit off as well. So that'll be that done. That little bit of ceiling left to go back on. Yeah, I've got to put that back up. Um, we've, re we've redone the carpet in the front, so that that's looking nice now. That does look nice. Yep. Um, one job left to do tomorrow. I just need to get the rubbing oil, rubbing alcohol, and just get yeah, that tidy. little bit of glue off. Tidy the edges up. New day. New day, new dawn. Final day. This is the final day of the official van build. Hooray! Really? Yes, it definitely is. <laughs> all we've got left to do is put that frame on there that we've made. That's all set now and it's screwing paint on. It. Are we painting it now, are we? Well, we need to do the oil on it. You can't leave it as bare wood. Oh, we're not putting it on then. We're painting it before we paint no, it No, we're putting it on and then I'll paint it. Okay, we're doing it that way. Um, the new a Max Air... You need to do the trim, finish the ceiling. Just reminding you of all the things we need to do. Okay, that's like 30, 30 second job. 
the new Max Air fan is here. It got delivered last night, which is great. Yay. So we're going to take that unit out and put the new one in. That's a half an hour job, I reckon, at most. Right, Wi-Fi box. Wi-Fi box. That's just a case of trimming the wires down, screwing it to the wall. Put everything back in, mattresses and all that. That's, that's it. Stuff. No, that's not van build, though. That's doing something else. So, so that is well, it. We to, need to... to, 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 to <sighs> Right, you don't like the, the storage in here, so we need to think about if you want another shelf put in. No, no, that's not van... Stop! Stop! Today is the last day of the van build. It's going okay, to be it's gonna be done and finished. rail for the shower. Yeah, but apart from that, that's one little <laughs> job. That's like little tinkering as we go. Oh, you peed on me bonfire. Tinkering? Bon we right, you peed on me bonfire. Just getting on with some jobs, forget it. <laughs> really windy up here and I don't know what the sounds like on this GoPro but I've got to take out four, the four screws that hold it in place which I conveniently sealed in place so no water got in which is good so I've got to take that off so there's one two and then two to the other side and then we can take this out probably give it a nice, nice good clean as well whilst I'm up here but giving it a quick inspection it's been up here for nearly a year now a bit of green algae but looks in pretty good condition. Happy with that. So yeah, taking this whole unit out and then putting the new one in. At least it's not hailing today. Oh God, yeah. Not as simple as a quick swap, is it? Well, it is, but I've completely well, I've only done it once, and it was nearly a year ago. I've completely forgotten how to put it in. Oh, I could go back and watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the wiring. Oh, should we read the instructions? Are yeah, we have read the instructions, but we've got the ah the light. Where's the bloody light? That's why. Everything gets hidden by the light shade. <laughs> now I remember. Well, not the light shade, the light and the thingy. Right. So that's an optional extra, isn't it? A thingy, yeah. We did buy the optional extra thingy. Right, that's good then. Right, how's this quick job of yours going then? <laughs> well, it's just got even worse now, so that's not right. What's happening? Done it wrong. Done it wrong? What do you mean? I mean, I thought this would hide the cables away, but it doesn't hide the cables away. Oh, I made such hard work at that. Brain fart over. Proper brain fart. <laughs> right, I don't need that one. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. Forget that. Half hour job. Yeah. <laughs> Van build strikes again. Thank you. That's like what people wear in them gurning compositions, isn't it? <laughs> Working. Right, we are ready to install some little light. For the record, have not been on the list at any point of time when we started this van has there been a I put some shelves in here list. 
So, as far as I'm concerned, we're finished now. Okay. This is... Who is the one that moans? Didn't someone just put a shelf in there, did I? But what is your other solution for when you moan you can't get your clothes out? I'm going to put them up there. But you can't because the mattresses are going to live up there well, now. Well, see, that's not wasn't part of the thing either, was well, it? Well, things change, aren't they? No, they don't. don't. Things change in your head <laughs> and then I have to adapt to them. Yeah, well, you, you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, loving it. <laughs> anyway, we're putting up shelves, folks. <laughs> Do you want to know something? Go on. When I first joined the ambulance service 22 years ago. Oh, it was before then. It wasn't 2002. 24 years ago. If, if you got like a late job, the first hour of being late, you had to work for nothing, you didn't get paid. And only after that first hour did you start to get paid overtime. Don't ask me why, that's the way it was. And this is what this feels like at the moment. I'm working for nothing. Just out of the niceness of my heart. Yeah, happy wife, happy life. No? Nope. Sorry. Well, you'll be thanking me. Happy wife, load of strife. I'll be thanking you. Yeah, when you can put your clothes does away. Does it look like, does it neatly. sound like I'm thanking you? No, but when you can put your clothes away neatly, you'll be thanking me. I don't, but I'll just chuck them on the floor. Lovely job. I think it looks horrible. Okay, well, you're going to stand there and look in a cupboard. Good job, mister. Go. Beat you at a game of chess. Well, it goes all the way that way now as well. Oh, well, that's good because it can just tuck in there at bedtime, can't it, without having to take it down? Yeah, that's what I planned. Well, that way. Oh, no. Why is it? Oh, that's that handle there. Mm, yeah. So we've managed to repurpose Steve's granddad's chessboard for a table which I think looks very nice. Yeah. So our big issue over the past couple of weeks, a big issue literally has been that we've been overweight. So we've solved that problem now. We've solved that problem by taking a load of weight out. We've removed some unnecessary stuff. Uh, we've, we've reduced a lot of the weight by re taking stuff out. Obviously we haven't been back to the weigh bridge so we don't actually know how much she weighs. So we're gonna do that over the next week or so. And then if that hasn't worked, we've got plan B, haven't we? We've got plan B, yeah. I am lucky. I've got granddad rights. I don't have to go and get C1 or my license. I've also got an HGV license as well. So what I drive is not going to be the issue. Uh, and we think we found a relatively easy way for a whole of £27 to increase our payload by well, almost half a tonne. So that's going to easily cover us for everything we've got, all our kit, all our stuff. Full bellies, full water, full diesel, yep. full food, full everything. We're going to be well within capacity. This so. means though, well, I mean, I'm not insured to drive her anyway. I couldn't drive her because I'm not a granddad, so I don't have those rights. No. Um, and um, yeah, so the only thing we're thinking of, if we were a long way away from home and you couldn't drive for whatever reason, we're a bit stuck. However, we do have family members that can drive bigger vehicles, so I'm sure. So we just volunteered them to yeah, come and help. We're just been ringing them up. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> it could help us if we got stuck. Yeah. So yeah, there's quite there's ways to sort things out, isn't there? So, yay! We we finished. Hooray! This is the end. It's official. It feels a bit surreal. We should have a beer. I know. I'm going to go and get a beer in a minute. I haven't got any beers in the house. Only alcohol-free ones. But that's another story. But this is it. We have officially finished our van build. We are done. 
No more van build videos every Sunday to bore you to death. From now on, it's just going to be fun, fun, fun all the way. Yay! So we're getting out and about and using it. When things go wrong. <laughs> Nothing goes wrong. It always goes right in our van build. Yay! So yeah, thank you very much. Um, this is the end of this week. We've done all these jobs. Everything's finished. Table um, looks very table nice. Table looks nice. We're happy with that. Yep. Can play chess and beat you. Yeah, have got, to find the chess set. I've got the chess sets upstairs. Um, so. Yeah, just join this kind of van build series. When did we start? We started in May last year. We said we'd do it in about three months, <laughs> which we have definitely done. We had four months off because of Broken Back Girl. So I suppose, technically speaking, we're only now end of March. So 10, 10 months altogether. I think it's about 30 weeks. Yeah, about 30, yeah. It's in terms of like actual Actual weeks work. building, about, about 30 weeks. Yeah. Um, but in terms of actual calendar time, ten, 10 months with four months off. So technically speaking, we've done it in six months. That was, oh yeah, that, 30, was, that was good maths. Yeah, 30 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is the end of our van build series. Thank you very much for all of you who have um, watched and liked and subscribed and left comments. It's been very, very helpful. Um, oh, and I, can I just add a big thanks to Nigel and Susan for the coffees. Oh yeah, everybody's bought us a coffee. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for all your great comments over the weeks of help and support. There's been some highs, there's been some lows. There's been some arguments. There's been a couple of arguments when I'm right and Chell's wrong, but you know. Um, apart from that, it's gone all right, isn't it? No, I'm really happy that it's finished. I don't know what we're going to do with ourselves now. Oh, I've got lots of things. I've got to tidy the garage up now. That's my main mission, <laughs> empty that out. Um, what we're doing next, we're going to spend some time travelling. We've got our summer holidays planned weekends away and then give it a year and we'll start looking for a boat thanks so much for watching we've really enjoyed your company on this journey and uh yep. tune in next week for some travels wherever we're off to thanks very much take care now see you next time